Largely we're using existing technology, not necessarily on the railway, but technology that is already in use in other places, in other industries. Aviation being one, um, if you look at what's happened at Heathrow, the, the capacity at Heathrow sort of plateaued basically. And uh, then they introduced digital plane control um, in terms of um, the way they do air traffic control. And they've actually managed to increase the capacity of the airport by about 60% just by doing that, by creating more landing slots just by the way that they manage the, the aeroplanes in and out. Well, one of the fundamentals of the Digital Railway Programme is it actually moves this signalling system into the driver's cab. So it's in-cab signalling with a, a display uh, in front of the driver rather than lights on sticks by the railway. Technology does move fast uh, and one of the things that we have to address is looking at more open architecture systems that we can be more agile with in terms of implementing and not having to rely on expensive and lengthy updates. We want to try and uh, improve the customer information and the customer experience as well, so that's, that's something that's very much in the train operator's domain. We want to put more trains on the network. We want to provide people with better connections, more flexibility in terms of how they travel and having trains timetabled to suit people's needs rather than just a regular timetable.